Sure. Sure. Um, so hypertension is considered the silent killer, and it actually affects men and women equally. We're also starting to see diseases like hypertension and diabetes appear in adolescents, and that's due to obesity. Currently, 33% of the U.S. population suffers from obesity. So what hypertension is, it's the force of blood pumping through your vessels. So individuals who suffer from hypertension, they could be suffering from hypertension due to genetics. It also could be diet or lifestyle, as well as environmental factors. What sort of environmental factors? Um, types of environmental factors are sedentary lifestyle, so individuals who don't get much exercise, who work jobs where they sit from nine to five, where you take the elevators instead of the stairs. Uh -huh. So these are also things that can lead to individuals experiencing hypertension. Um, it's so drastic and deadly because it can lead to other diseases. It can lead to stroke, it can lead to hardening of the arteries, and it can also lead to myocardial infarction or heart attacks as well as heart failure. And we can also see it leading to kidney disease because like anything in your body, your heart is connected to every other organ. So ways to prevent hypertension or minimize your risks. The first thing that we ask patients to do is we ask them to do lifestyle modifications. So we ask them to do the DASH diet, which is dietary adjustments to stop hypertension. So the diet includes high in fiber, high in fruits and vegetables, low in sodium. We actually tell patients to intake less than two grams of sodium per day. What is the like, FDA recommended? The FDA recommended is two grams. Okay. So we uh, like to see it below that. I went to the doctor's office for a checkup and they told me that I had hypertension. And they said I had hypertension because I was overweight and I had poor dietary habits and I was a smoker. And also that my family has a history of hypertension. So all these factors indicated that I was high risk and in fact I did have hypertension. So they gave me several different options. One was just to lose a lot of weight. Um, and the second one was to put me on medicines. And I didn't want to do the medicines. I thought I could lose some weight. So over the summer, I went to Korea. And over there, they eat very healthily, um, vegetables mainly and some grains. And I worked all the time, 12-hour days. And I really, really worked in the fields. And over the two months, I lost about 50, 60 pounds. Um, and I came back. Uh, they ran blood pressure tests, and I was A-OK. -okay. And now what I try to do is I try to eat healthily, a lot of vegetables and fruits, and I exercise every other day. In the winter time, I lift weights because I believe that burns fat. And you know, you can't go outside and play basketball, so I do that. Um, and now my blood pressure is A-OK. -okay.